I love to go to aquariums. It doesn't matter where they are. This one happens to be in the middle of the desert, Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Mandalay Bay Resort Casino. Shark Reef is what it's called. And kids and families love to go there and see all the varieties of different fish, even interacting with some of them. But if you really want to see where people are drawn, look no further than the shark tank. These things attract people. I mean, Shark Week on TV, movies like Jaws have made sharks to be the big evil of the seas. But in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Even though occasionally they do have encounters with man, it is said that you have a bigger chance of being struck by lightning than being attacked by shark. And if you take a look at how many tens of millions of people every day enter the oceans of the world, well, encounters are really negligible. If anything, the shark has to fear man because by tens of millions they are being killed for their fins. The rest of the shark being discarded back into the water. What people have to be aware of if you're going into the uh, uh, Caribbean or into waters anywhere is not the big things like sharks, but the little ones. Like the pretty lionfish, beautiful and deadly. Its size may be a a full-grown mature one, 2 pounds, 15, 18 inches long, which is about 30 to 45 centimeters in length. But their spines carry a venom, a poison. And today they are found throughout the oceans. At one time it was only in the Pacific, Asia part of the world that you could find lionfish and they were captured for aquariums. But and that nobody really knows how it happened. I mean, there's some speculation that it was an aquarium in Florida that was hit by a hurricane and that uh, lionfish were released. Some people think that they came through in the bilge of ships and again were released in the Caribbean. But whatever it is, today lionfish are found from Long Island, New York, all the way down to Brazil. Years ago, I never saw them in the Caribbean. On this last trip, we found them at pretty well every area we went to, from Riviera Maya down to Costa Maya. You come to a reef, it doesn't have to be deep. I mean, it can be like at the Bahia Principe Resort, where we're talking about maybe three feet of water, some rock formations, and there's the lionfish. Not these, that's coming up in other videos. But there were lionfish, and people should be aware of that. Because especially younger people, kids, snorkeling and don't know this and want to poke at them or capture them because lionfish don't flee. They just are pretty stationary, pretty docile. They don't have to flee. They know they got poison. Don't mess with me, man. But kids might not be aware of that, so they decide to maybe capture one. And sooner or later, something is going to happen. But it's not only lionfish. There are scorpion fish, there are stonefish. If anything, stonefish are even more venomous. And I've seen those also in the Caribbean. Jellyfish, which we encountered again on this trip. There's many little things that a person should be aware of. It's not to make you afraid of snorkeling. As a matter of fact, I love encounters even with lionfish. And on this trip by Costa Maya, Cindy was snorkeling with reef sharks. You can have a lot of fun in the ocean, but know what's out there. Use common sense and enjoy our beautiful world. Lionfish are beautiful, but can be deadly. Be aware. Thank you.